Aldi's raspberry and sparkling wine tea is the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is another daily life health tip to help you stay slim and trim. Now today we're talking about this. Now you can tell by the packaging, it is a bit of a Christmas special that was in at Aldi. Um, and I think originally I saw it and they were like two pounds something. Uh, and then I've seen that they've got loads in and they've reduced them all to like 50p. So check out your local Aldi to see whether they've got any of these left. Um, and they are, as, you, as I said earlier, raspberry and sparkling. It's basically raspberry and champagne for breakfast who doesn't want raspberry and champagne first thing in the morning so if for instance you're vegan like i am this week or if you're just trying to lower your dairy or your caffeine by cutting out tea and coffee it's a really good idea to have some of these lovely infusion teas now in this one you get 15 bags now I have scanned it on my fitness pal uh, and it does come it does say zero calories. So if you look at the ingredients, very few ingredients, very natural ingredients as well. Uh, so it's definitely a zero calorie product which is magical. And there's no nutritional information on it which is also uh uh obviously a great thing. Tina, definitely your cup of tea darling this sort of thing. Cup of tea. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I didn't even know. No, I was joking. Uh, right, so the, <laughs> the ingredients in here are hibiscus, apple pomance. I'm not really sure what apple pomance is. I've never even heard of it before. 19%. It was obviously the apple bit inside. Uh, then apples, another 19%. Rose hips, 14% elderflower and it also says flavoring so that was the interesting bit because how does it how is it going to taste of sparkling wine is it just got a bit of grape in but as i said it doesn't say grape the only other ingredient is flavoring so let's just read that out again hibiscus apple rose hip elderflower and flavoring so five ingredients in these tea bags um We'll delve inside and then I, of course, have prepared one earlier. So this is what your tea bag look like, looks like. You put it nice and close. So you can see bits of apple in there, bits of the elderflower, stuff like that. So, and that, smell, that smells like so strong. It's really funny. You know, any, everything that, um, I don't know whether you know this about jam, but the biggest ingredient in strawberry jam is apples. Like the food industry, when you watch these programs, it's just shocking. But again, it's the same with this. It smells like raspberry, but when you know it's got apple in it, it also smells of apple. So weird. Right, let's do the taste test, guys. This is the exciting bit. So the instructions are uh, to enjoy this raspberry and sparkling wine with flavour infusion at its best time, use one bag per person and brew using freshly drawn boiled water for three to four minutes or according to personal taste. I feel like I have to speak like this when I review any of Aldi's specially selected products. Um, as I said, it is all Christmassy packaging, um, and I'll just read out the other description here before we taste it. A festive blend with notes of sweet raspberry and crisp, sparkling wine flavourings. A strange thing was, when I scanned it on my fitness pal, it came up as, came up as mulled wine. Strange. So, I thought it was going to be red, to be honest with you. I know you can't really see the colour because of all my background colours. Uh, but it actually looks like <laughs> wine colour, guys. So, as I said, it doesn't seem to have any wine ingredients in it. But it certainly looks like wine, which has got a tea bag thrown inside. So that's been brewing for probably about five or six minutes. So it should be full of flavour now. Let's do the smell test. That actually doesn't smell of anything. Um, when I smelt the bag and smelt the tea bag, that was really strong, but that actually doesn't smell of anything. Which is weird, because you know when you have fruit teas and herbal teas, it, the smell is like sensational, isn't it? So that's a bit strange. Let's give it a taste.
I'm just thinking to myself, have I got COVID? <laughs> I think everybody thinks that now, don't they? If they can't taste anything, when they're expecting to taste something, it doesn't taste anything. You're like, have I got COVID? <laughs> but do you know what, guys? You know, you know me. I have to be honest, and that I, I actually can't taste anything. I feel like I'm drinking hot water. There's a nice. There's a, a nice note of something, but I wouldn't say it was raspberry. And I definitely wouldn't say it's um, sparkling wine. So I'm really sorry, LD UK. Um, I don't think I can recommend this, but as I said, uh, we like to do reviews, especially on new products. It looks nice. It's got a little hint of something in there, um, but, this raspberry and sparkling wine infusion tea isn't the strongest thing I've ever tasted, guys. I'm guessing you could try it with cold water as well. Uh, for those of you who's had those infusion teas before, I might try this one with cold water. Morning, Val. Morning, Maureen. Morning, Maureen. You just joined me reviewing this tea, um, and I'm just saying... I can't really taste much. It's a, it's a, I was going to say Prosecco, a raspberry and sparkling wine tea infusion by Aldi. They're reduced to 50p for 15 tea bags. Right, that's it from me, guys. That was my cup of tea this morning. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning for a live workout at 10am where we're doing our 10,000 steps. Join me then. Cheers.